Hello, my name is Elin. I'm a hematologist at Mayo Clinic, Rochester, Minnesota. I treat patients with lymphoma, multiple myeloma, and cancers of the lymphoid system. My research focus is immunotherapy or cancer vaccine. Specifically, I want to harness the power of our immune cells to help fight cancer. As I believe that cells are in essence the smartest drug that we have in this era of personalized medicine. The cells in our body are naturally programmed to be able to sense their environment, to adapt, and to respond accordingly. Now, cancers and the tumors will try to essentially suppress these immune cells or the immune system from doing their normal job. And this is one of the ways that the tumors can grow and spread in our body. So what we want to be able to do is to outsmart the tumors and get these immune cells to work properly again like they normally would be able to and use that as a strategy to fight cancer. Today I'm going to tell you about a clinical trial that is open right now at Mayo Clinic Rochester to treat patients with indolent B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. This particular trial uses a special subset of immune cells called dendritic cells as vaccines. Now dendritic cells are like sentinels and generals all at the same time in the immune system's battle against tumor. Dendritic cells are naturally programmed to spread in our body to go to various sites and to probe and sense what's going on. They sense what's foreign, what shouldn't be there. So things like tumor, and they'll pick up signals from those tumor or what we call antigen, and then they'll tell the rest of the immune cells, the other immune cells in the system, to go and attack other foreign objects that has those signals or antigens. One of the cells that the dendritic cells are very good at activating are called lymphocytes. Okay, lymphocytes are what I like to think of as the foot soldiers in the battle against tumors. They spread throughout our body and do the actual job of attacking and killing the tumors. Now the dendritic cells are like the generals because there are far fewer dendritic cells than they are lymphocytes in number. But each individual dendritic cells are capable of activating hundreds to thousands of lymphocytes. What we have found in our lab is that the dendritic cells in the lymphoma patients don't work as well as the dendritic cells from somebody who don't have cancer. We have found a way in the lab to empower these dendritic cells again from the lymphoma patients. So we take the immune cells from lymphoma patients, we make them work better again in the lab, and we give these empowered dendritic cells back to the patient. This is personalized medicine. Another thing that we're studying in the lab is why do the dendritic cells not work as well in lymphoma patients and other patients with cancer? If you think about it, vaccines are one of the great success stories in medicine in this century. You know, vaccines have helped us eradicate and prevent a number of serious infections like polio. Now in those situations, vaccines work well because we're giving them to patients or people with normal immune system. We and other very smart people in the field of cancer vaccines are trying to figure out the many different ways that tumors suppress our immune system. So in this particular trial, we're also using another innovation to overcome some of these suppressions from the tumor that prevents the dendritic cells from working as well inside the body of lymphoma patients. We use a strategy called cryoablation. This is essentially killing a tumor by freezing it. It is an outpatient procedure performed by interventional radiologists. This is usually done under CT or ultrasound or some form of image guidance. The radiologist can then place the freezing probe exactly where they want inside the tumor, and they can control the size of the ice fall and kill just the part of the tumor that they want 
and not hurt the surrounding tissues. By killing the tumor this way, we're also removing a lot of the suppressive effect that the tumor puts on the immune system. So in essence, our clinical trial combines two innovations to try to create a tailored, personalized medicine for lymphoma patients. We get their dendritic cells to work better, and we create a more friendly environment for these cells to work better once they go back into the body. Right now, this trial is open for patients with newly diagnosed or relapsed indolent B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, some common types include, but are not limited to, follicular lymphoma, malt lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma. So if you have been diagnosed with a B-cell non-Hodgkin lymphoma, please call the Mayo Clinic Cancer Center trial line, and I will be happy to answer your questions and see if you would qualify for this trial. Actually, we're in the process of opening two other dendritic cell vaccines. They will use slightly different approaches because each type of tumor can behave differently. So we want to adjust our treatment strategies. But we do have plan to start a dendritic cell vaccine trial for patients with glioblastoma. Uh, that will be led by one of my great colleagues, Dr. Ian Parney in neurosurgery, uh, among other people. And another one would be a dendritic cell vaccine trial for ovarian cancer. And that will be um, led by Dr. Uh, Matt Block um, and Dr. Keith Knudsen, um, among other researchers. Uh, we would anticipate initiating these trials actually sometime later this year, and we're very excited to be able to offer these treatment strategies for more than one type of cancer.